Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of One Piece, which is on 836. Now, this chapter gave out some nice information here and there, so the recap might be a little bit short. It could be long, so until then, let's just get this started. Okay, at the beginning of the chapter, we have to it that... That Nami remembers something about what, um... Pudding says about her older sister leaving and set up into the ocean. And we have to it that Cracker, on the other hand, is... Have is grabbing like um Lola's father or something like that, you know. And we also have to it that um that not me surprised about this because Lola is a is a daughter of Big Mom, and this was revealed in the last chapter, etc. You know, and things kind of gotten really uh, pretty tense here and there. But we also get to know like um, that she was born in a new world here and there, and this guy is Lola's father, obviously. But as the ep chapter continues, we have to it that the rabbit comes in and is about to cause some trouble, especially when he's called Randolph. And Cracker, on the other hand, tells Randolph to knock it off right now or I'm going to kill you, you know? And Cracker, on the other hand, had some kind of like um, tense vibe after what everyone is actually kind of concerned about but we have to it that um randolph makes an apology but the crane like um is the one that actually in had to come in or something you know luffy on the other hand says like um he's very strong that's for sure you know and pretty much cracker recognizes luffy right away because he's the one that brought down dolphamingo since brulal and other things you know and Everything all together. As you know, we have to with the uh, Brule. I think that's um Big Mom's daughter, of course, which I don't, I don't even remember how all her sons and daughters anyway. We have to with that there's a person that's known to be the master of the Forest of Temptation, King Bomb. And we have to it that there's a little small talk here and there involving the Vinsmoke along with Germer 66, etc., a science division. We have to it that all these animals coming out and we and the uh, Big Mom's um, daughter, who has the power of the reflecting devil fruit power, mirror, mirror fruit. We have to it that Chopper and C Carrot are inside the mirror, and it's going to be in trouble right now. Not to mention, she shatters the mirror in great menace and not caring at all. We have to it that things kind of gotten out of hand right now. And, of course, like, when it comes to breaking mirrors, it can bring up pretty terrible luck. That's what mythology is, but... Yeah. Anyways, we have to it that, like, um, we had a little something that what happened with Mama says she wouldn't sleep, she she wouldn't lose any sleep if you had an accident. So, I don't know what this accident is, but, yeah, have to it that he says, I could be your father, you know. Um, that's what the guy says, Lola's father. He says, perhaps you were my original, but you're not mine now. According to Mama, her previous 43 husbands are just a random group of outsiders with no blood relation whatsoever. And I'm thinking in my mind, are you freaking serious right now? And we have to it that he goes like, Wait, what about my daughters? I'm related to them. You're my flesh and blood. Please don't do this. And Crack was about to actually slice him with the sword. But Luffy blocks his attack and goes like, What the hell is wrong with you? And we have to it, he goes like, Is this pity or compassion? And we have to it that Luffy says, you know him for so long, and you act like you don't even feel a damn thing about him? What's going... What the heck's wrong with you? And we have to it that everyone runs away because Lord Cracker is about to whoop out his real strength and power right now. And his and Lola's father is named Pound, I believe. And things kind of got a little crazy right now. And we have to it that um, Nami brings out a Vivian card, and it ends up like... Um, Shining up or something. Everyone goes like, whoa, is, this is my friend. Everyone was like pretty shocked right now because they go like, what the heck is that? What's wrong with you guys? And then so forth. They go like, um, even King Braun tells like, um, Big Mama's daughter, like, um, sorry, Brule, we can't, we homies cannot oppose that girl, Jew. I'm like, what? We could sense it. Mama's powerful soju, which I don't know, so. I don't know what this soju is, but this thing that Nami has right now, it seems like they're all freaking afraid or something, but I don't know. 
But you know what makes it really crazy right now is that Luffy was sent flying to a tree and we have to hear that Luffy's actually having some trouble right now. And Cracker ends up showing his true ability right now. He goes like, knock once and it splits in two. Knock again and it becomes three. You have zero chance of coming out of this victorious. You will only inter inter interrupt Mama's ceremony over my dead body. And we have to it that Cracker's bounty is 860 million berries. Not to mention he's known to be Thousand Arms and is one of the three sweet commanders, Yonku, Big Mom, Pirates. And we have to it that things kind of gotten really out of hand and Luffy was in trouble. But Nami warns Luffy, like, Luffy, you gotta breathe. We can't have you fighting all out. That's not what we're here for. Remember, as soon as we get out of this forest, our priority is to find, find and get to Sanji. And we... And we had to it that Luffy says, You don't want me to go all out? I don't think there's any other freaking way. Sorry, I'm about to go head to head with this mother -er, okay? And of course, Luffy gets ready to like clash with one of the Yonku's officers, you know? So, pretty much right here, we get to see to it that there's some kind of big information revealed where, um... That big... That everyone ends up being afraid of Nami's Vivid card that has some kind of powerful... Soju, which possibly has some relation to some things. Well, I was kind of spoiled a little bit by a friend, but yeah. Anyways, we have to it that things kind of gotten really crazy and out of hand right now. I don't know what the heck is going on, but one thing for sure is like, um, things are going to get tense here on out. Luffy's going to go head to head with Cracker. Who's going to win? I don't know, but for a guy who's now a 500 million bounty against an 860 million bounty, Thousand arms, whatever. This is going to be one tough fight. So, I don't know if L Luffy will have to force himself to go or give forth, but I suggest that he goes to that mode unless he really, really has to. If he just goes all out from the beginning like that, then hell break loose, and if the guy finds out his weakness, he Luffy is good as dead. Because we all know we all know Luffy's gear forth. Those of you who are anime onlys and manga readers will sure know that. So if anything else, that's about it, people. I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'm off for zero. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time. All right? Peace out. Bye-bye. Two to do.